Look, I'm not reviewing it. I'm not reviewing it. You can say it a million times, but I'm still not revealing it. Huh? What? Oh, uh, I think you're going through a tunnel. I, I think I'm going through a tunnel. Bye. Oh. Didn't see you there. Hey, what's up, you guys? It is me, Gael, and welcome back to my new setup. Yes, this is where I'm going to be doing review times now. Um, got the essentials on the table, my computer, TV, and yeah. Basically, it's not very different because the couch is like in front of me and that's where I, like I mostly film anyway, so Yeah Now instead of seeing review times like everywhere around my house and me forcing to uh, go to another room to film Review times We'll be right here. I had this table out in my uh, living room for so long I never knew what to do with it, but now I know so Review time roll the intro Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Gael, and welcome back to Review Time, as I just stated earlier when I started the video. So we all know that there's a lot of stuff happening, and we are getting more terrible movies. Actually, I think one of these might be terrible, but who cares? Today, I'm going to be um, revealing the upcoming new movies. That will be coming out in 2025 and 2024. I think most of these are going to be coming out in 2025, I think. But, yeah. Today, I'm going to be discussing, like, three movies and uh, nothing more. Oh, jeez. I have a lot to talk about. And I hope uh, you guys can understand this. So, our first review is going to be Pinocchio Unstrung, or Unstring. So, if you guys don't know Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, which are these movies, yeah. So, apparently, the sequel came out, and it's decent. It, but I'm not saying it's, like, really, really good, I'm just saying it, it's decent. Like, I saw it yesterday, and I was like... It's better than the first one, I can say. But I feel like they just put all their money into Tigger's tail, if you see right here. Like, oh my god. <laughs> you could have just put in like a, like, like literally a tail on the back of the actor. But no, you had to CGI it. And the lighting is different for the tail, and it's just, it makes it really weird. But... Yeah, hey, I'm not complaining. It's their movie, not mine. But yeah, we're not talking about Winnie the Pooh yet. But I might talk about that in another video, but yeah. But we are going to be talking about Pinocchio Unstrung. Um, my opinions on it? Eh. Like, we don't have a lot of information on this. A trailer hasn't even been shown. We do have one exclusive sneak peek, kind of-ish. From the end of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, where, uh, well, the second one, where we see an image of Pinocchio, and we already know what he's gonna look like, but I can't wait to see the trailer so I can shit on it, so, um, but if it's good, then I guess that's on me, saying that a, a probably good trailer is probably gonna be shit, but, uh, future Gaio, good luck. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have no, uh, like, just like I said, like, we have no information on this. This is going to be, like, one of many movies that's going to be out into this one big universal movie called The Pooniverse, which I am going to be talking about very, very soon, like, later on in this video, but, yeah. That's all I have to say about Pinocchio. We don't have a lot of info, like I just said, and, yeah, like, the the picture is kind of cool. Like, it's okay. I'm an artist myself. Like, I cannot recreate that. But just... <laughs> Let's see. And now moving into number two. We have Peter Pan Neverland Nightmares. Okay. I saw the trailer earlier today. And uh, I just want to say that... It's alright. Like... No hate to the to the directors and the producers and the makers of the trailer and also the movie because they are like also the makers 
of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And I'm like, the first movie was a disgrace. The second movie was okay and decent. But this trailer that I just saw, oh God. We are definitely in it for this. Like, I guess, well, for most people, maybe not, but I kind of might be. Um, the trailer is okay. It, you're basically turning him into a slasher while he kidnaps kids. It's kind of like a, like an it. Like, you're just doing, you're pulling an it. Like, where Peter Pan is Pennywise. And Pennywise craves kids. But this time, it's kind of like in reverse. Like, where Peter Pan doesn't crave them. Like, they, he wants them. It's like normal Peter Pan, but just with horror elements and like a slasher element like thrown into there is like I just wonder what the pitch for this movie was. I'm just imagining like hey, oh uh, Why do why don't we take the Peter Pan and put a Pennywise slash Michael Myers uh, or Jason Voorhees mix into it and turn it into a horror film. And also tie it connected with uh, Blunt Honey. And then the people are making, I like it, I love it, and I want more of it. Make this happen. What are people going into? We're, like, first of all, like, like, just like the slogan for, like, uh, for the Pooniverse movie, which will be, I will be covering next. Um, like, <laughs> The ch your childhood, ho your childhood turning into like bad guys or horror or something, but just yeah. I just want to say good luck. If uh, I'm definitely gonna watch it and like probably shit on it, but eh, don't count your hopes. I. <laughs> but yeah, like I just don't know what to say. Um. Peter Pan, good luck. I hope you did good. And I swear to God, if you make a sequel, if you have the audacity to make a sequel, I, I'm I'm gonna have some words. I'm gonna have some words. But that's all I'm gonna say. I, we were just given a trailer like like yesterday or this morning, and. From the looks of it, it's okay. It's, like I said, it's like a like a it slasher movie, but with Peter Pan. And I'm scared. And I don't get scared in most horror movies. I really don't. There's like an off chance that you might, but it's like a 50-50 chance with me. Peter Pan, you're not doing it for me. Uh, and now off for the main event. The main, main event. The Pooniverse. Yes, this. This abomination of what we are getting. And, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is... This movie is going to be the death of me. You're literally teaming up Peter Pan and Pinocchio, whatever, whoever the f*** is going to be in this movie. Just, uh, let, let me just read you the description. So, yeah, I am on IMDb right now, and I searched up uh, Pooniverse, and apparently it's extended now. Uh, the name is called Pooniverse Monsters Assemble. God, this title just makes me want to kill myself instantly. So apparently, for the description, it's... Sleeping Beauty. Are you kidding me? Sleeping Beauty, Tigger, Tinkerbell, Mad Hatter, Pooh, Bambi, Peter Pan, Owl, Rabbit, God, this is a whole list. Pinocchio, Cricket, I'm assuming Jiminy Cricket, and Piglet. And Captain Hook, they all team up to take down Ash Down once and for all. What the f is Ash Down? Probably like a false town in their mind. 
set. But <sighs> this movie, like I just said, this movie is gonna be the f death of me. I don't. Oh, what are we gonna think about this? These are some British people that are making movies about our childhoods. Most likely adult childhood because I've barely watched Peter Pan and Winnie the Pooh a lot like when I was younger. Like I didn't really like the olden Disney stuff. Like you can yell at me in the comments and say, oh, you, the f you, why are you talking about all this trash about these movies if you haven't seen the originals? Well, like I've seen the originals. It's just that I never grown a bond with them. But these movies are kind of like my laugh laugh factory for me. Like my laugh factor. Like they're bad horror movies. Like you're gonna enjoy like a single laugh out of this. But they turn it into a slasher type of film. And when you see that in theaters and you watch the movie, it's like, huh, that's funny. They turn them into a slasher. That's how I am with horror movies. I don't get scared from horror movies. I enjoy them. They're funny and they're awesome. The kills are really awesome. And my good buddy, mother stay. All right. And just like my good friend, James, James A. Denise, I don't really know him, but I want to call him a good friend because he is a good friend and I think he would be a good friend if we ever met, so. James, if you're watching this video, we should definitely meet up somewhere or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, I'll link your channel in the description, bro. Like, James has reviewed Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and I don't know if he's ever going to review the upcoming uh, new scary movies, like Winnie the, Poo like Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2 or something. But, James, all I just want to tell you is good luck. And also for 3C Films, like, thank you for giving all the information that I can, like, literally tell here today. Because you are the only person that I can get movie info from. I do go to Twitter sometimes, but just, eh. <sighs> I guess that's my video. Yeah, with, um, fucking Pinocchio and Peter Pan and the Pooniverse. God, these movies are just making me pissed now. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, yeah. That was my ensembling rant about the next terrible movies that will be coming to us in, like, a couple of days. Um, or, not in a couple of days. In the next couple of years or months or something. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this review time. I hated it. So, uh, yeah. If you guys want me to review Wind of the Pooh, Blood, and Honey, don't. But if you do, I'll probably do it anyway. Until then, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.